Hi guys, today I have another process video for you for Project Life. These are pictures of my brother taking me down to Manhattan. He is a jeweler, so I'm going to use this diamond card here. We went to the diamond exchange and did errands for his store. And I'm also going to add in these really pretty pastel rainbow cards for added interest. I went with really non-traditional colors for Manhattan spread but I totally love it. So we're gonna start with the first card. I'm gonna use this stamp set from Paper Smooches called Metropolis, and I wanted to do a skyline since we were in New York City. I'm gonna lay them down on my grid mat so that I can line them up. Since it's a, such a large image, I wanna make sure it's straight, and I'm gonna use my Fiskars stamp press as well. Since it's such a large image, it's easiest to do it on a stamp press so that you can put the entire stamp on one piece. Okay, now that they're lined up, I'm also going to use the grid on the stamp press to line it up, and I'm going to use Stamping Up's Pear Pizzazz. This green is gorgeous, and it matches with the base color and the original card that I'm using. So I'm just going to put the ink on, and then I'm going to press really hard here to make sure all along the entire stamp that I get a clear image, and I love the way it came out. It's exactly what I wanted. Now I want to put some splatters on the card. I don't have the right colors in sprays, so I ended up using my watercolors, and I'm just adding a little tiny bit of water onto a thicker paintbrush, and then I'm going to use my fingers to tap on some splatters. And I love the way this looks because I wanted specific colors for the splatters. And like I said, I didn't have any of my uh, paint sprays or anything like that in the right colors. So I'm going to go and add colors that complement the other cards in the layout, which is like pinks and teal blue and yellow so I wanted to add those and I'm going to use my heat gun to just dry them both the back and front of the cards to help prevent warping and as you can see it came out really really cute so I really love that especially since the original card looked like a watercolor card to begin with I wanted to add the additional watercolors now I'm going to flip through my thickers and I'm going to find this right here that is this gorgeous sparkly green that also complements the pear pizzazz color and I'm going to use my precision tweezers to put NYC on here a lot of the cards in this spread were given to me by Judy Bakes 22 Thank you so much, Judy. They were so perfect for my New York City spread because, like I said, my brother's a jeweler, and we went to the Diamond District, and a lot of the cards have diamonds on them, so it was just perfect. Here I go over to my enamel dot stash, and I'm just picking out some enamel dots that are going to complement back to the rest of the cards in the layout, which is the pink, the green, or the teal, and the yellow. And I'm just going to decide which dots to add on here. Because of the splatters, I wanted something a little bit larger. So it looks really pretty. They complement each other really well. And I use my uh, tweezers here because it just helps me place those uh, enamel dots perfectly, exactly the way I want. If I use my fingers, I tend to not be so accurate. And really love how that came out. Okay, now I'm going to go to my wood veneer stash, and I have the perfect wood veneer for this. It's a car, and the reason why I'm using this is because we drove to the city. We normally always take the subway, or not the subway, but the main um, metro line that goes from my mom's house to the city. We didn't this year, we drove, so I wanted to make that really evident in my layout. Now, unfortunately, I put that road washi tape down a little crooked so I'm going to straighten it out and here's the final card I absolutely love it love it so we're going to call that one done and we're going to move on to the next card and this one here I just started with a plain Becky Higgins grid card I love doing that a lot you guys have seen that in my past process videos and I'm going to do some mixed media stuff here I took out my embossing paste and my uh, spatula I have Claudine Helmuth's uh, landscape green paint and I have this awesome stencil by the Craftsman's Workshop. It's like a subway map. And since I was in the city, I thought it would be perfect. And I'm just using my yellow frog tape here to attach it down onto my craft mat. And you'll see my kitten Bella in the top right hand corner. She was so curious as to what I was doing here. And I'm just going to put a small amount of paste down. You do not need a lot. And I'm going to put one drop of the landscape green. And I'm going to mix that up really, really well. 
so that it's a nice smooth one tone color and I am going to add one more drop of paint here because I wanted it to be really really bright and again I'm trying to complement that pear pizzazz green color from the original card and I'm just going to spread this on and it's so easy it's just like putting bread on but uh, butter on bread it's really simple and I'm just going to put that down I'm not trying to be accurate or anything just kind of randomly and I love how it came out it's just so perfect so I am going to use my heat gun to dry that card embossing paste is awesome because it dries really really quickly and I wanted to start working on it right away so here is that card that I said I was going to add and here's a picture of the George Washington bridge we didn't actually drive over the bridge we drove under the bridge it is on the way to the city but I have driven from my mom's house in New York to the city so many times my entire life. And to me, when we drive to the city, when we go underneath the George Washington Bridge, that's when I know we're headed towards the city. It's just one of those symbolic things. So I wanted to make sure I took a picture of that while we were driving. And I love how that came out, just really pretty. Now I'm going to take this second card here, and I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm just going to use my little tonic paper trimmer to trim off the teal stripe. I want to use that in the layout, and I'm just going to fix it here with my scissors very quickly. I want to put a title on this. I want to actually put that it's the George Washington Bridge, but because of that embossing paste, I needed to put something there so that I can put down some alpha stickers. And I'm going to use my tiny attacher to attach this. In hindsight, I wish I hadn't done the staples so in and so close, and I wish I really didn't do the center staple because it ends up being in the way, but I do work around it. So next, I take out my Tim Holtz tiny alpha stickers. I love these things and I really want to spell out the whole entire thing that's George Washington Bridge. I could have put GW Bridge because that's basically what we call it for me when you in New York but I wanted it to be really really obvious and I love how that came out. Now I'm going over to my flares and I want to use this one here because it the pink and the yellows complement the other colors in the card. I thought I was going to use that arrow clip but it ended up not working out. So I stick with the pink and yellow watercolor type flare button that totally goes with this whole layout and I go back to my original thickers that I used to do the NYC and I just want to mark the month because it was my birthday and my brother was busy with his jewelry store and having to do his errands I he decided to take me for the day for my birthday and it was so fun I'm so glad I went and I'm just going to use this foam tape to do my flare button, but as you guys know, you've seen this a lot from me before, I put the flare button on the outside of the pocket. So I'm going to call that card done. And I really like the way it's all tying together. So we're going to go on to the third card. This card is really pretty. It has an ombre effect to it. And here are the pictures that I printed out on my Canon selfie and I'm just going to use my tonic paper trimmer again to trim out these pictures very quickly and I'm just going to use my scissors to cut down the center. The tonic trimmer is not a hundred percent accurate so I like to do more precision cuts with my scissors and I going through the ephemera pack for September I believe it was from Scraptastic and I'm just trying to pick some uh, different ephemera here that's going to go with this picture. This is pretty much the first thing I saw when I got out of the vehicle from our parking lot, so it was really cool. Just wanted to take a quick snapshot of arriving in the city. Hadn't been there in a long time, guys. I live in Missouri now, and I totally miss New York because that's where I was born and raised, and that's where my family is. So it was really exciting for me to go to the city for the day. Now, I found these little tags here, and they're so perfect. They look like little jewelry tags. I grew up with my dad owning a jewelry business, and now my brother. And these are the little tags they purchased to mark their jewelry. So I was like, wow, these are perfect. I put a gold one down and a green one, and I love how that looks. And I'm just going to attach them with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. And I put the here and now. And I absolutely love this card, how it came out. Very, very simple. but it's coming along so nicely. And then I use this Heidi Swap overlay that says shine and I'm going with the whole diamond jewelry 
theme, so shine is perfect. And I just have to cut off that little tail, and the end result of this card is awesome. Probably uh, like an all-time favorite card of mine. Simple, but cool. <laughs> Now this one here has the diamonds along the bottom, so I wanted to take a, use the picture of the diamond exchange billboard. It was so cool. I had all these diamonds on an LCD screen, and they were like falling from the sky. It was so cool. So I thought that this was the perfect card to put that diamond exchange picture on. This card gave me a lot of trouble. I fuss with it a lot here. I spent a lot of time on it. In the end, I do love how it came out, but it was a long time getting there. <laughs> I go to my wood veneer stash, and I'm kind of just looking around, hoping to find something, and I think I do. I, yeah, I find that diamond, and I was so excited that these diamonds were in the kit this month. And plus, Judy Bakes 22 sent me cards with diamonds. It was so perfect. Thank you so much, Judy. And I love how that came out. Now, I didn't have it in my tape because I missed it, but I did put a little thin border of washi tape above and below the picture and now I'm just doing some journaling with my precision pen and I do misspell a word and later on I go in and white it out and change it but I was rushing and I misspelled a word. Not the best speller in the world, I admit it. <laughs> now I wanted to change the diamonds at the bottom so I figured I'd give them a little wash of watercolor in pink not a hundred percent sold on that so I take out my Wink Estella but my Wink Estella is messed up and there's a lot of goop coming out of it so I do my best with it and it does look cute because it looks sparkly so I end up drying that and then I look at it again and I say to myself hmm I still don't like it it's not as pink as I wanted it so I take out my uh, brush and I just kind of uh, smear everything around with some water because that Wink Estella was so thick and I do like how that came out better and then I decided to add a little bit more pink and I did it with a Copic marker because the watercolors were just not working with me but I do like the way it came out okay so now we're on to the next card and this one here just says great day so I'm just chopping up these pictures here on my uh, tonic paper cutter chopping I kind of sound like I'm on a butcher block or something chopping meat <laughs> and then I'm just taking all these pictures and just trimming them down I don't end up using all of them but this one here I thought was a good one it's my brother at the jewelry counter and one of his suppliers doing business and it's just their hands working on the counter and I found this really cute green tag in the ephemera pack and also this piece here that I really like this flag piece so I'm going to commit to that and I'm going to use my plus glue tape runner to put those pictures down and the tag as well and this little flag it's so cute and I'm going to use my tiny attacher to attach it down on the page love that and then I wanted to add something to the top right hand corner because it was looking a little too clean for me so I found this circular ephemera piece really love this so I'm just going to hang it over the edge and trim off the extra and then I ended up putting a little black star and a yellow enamel dot on it to give it some interest now I'm using my favorite stamping up rhinestones which I love <laughs> I just ordered like five more packs because I was starting to stress that I was running out so because we're doing the whole jewelry and diamond and sparkly thing I wanted to add three of those and I love love how this card came out so so cute okay we're gonna move on to the next card and this one here kind of gave me a hard time as well. <laughs> this layout was not the funnest, I have to say. It turned out well in the end, but I did struggle a lot. And it just goes to show, guys, things don't always go so smoothly. Sometimes you have to fight a little to get through it. Now, I end up adding this card here because it's so cute. It says, but first, let me take a selfie. And I was waiting on a stairwell for my brother to finish doing his business. And I was so tired from all the walking around and hungry kind of hoping for lunch so I figured I'd you know what I take a selfie of myself <laughs> and that card was so perfect it makes me giggle every time I read it but first let me take a selfie <laughs> so I had to include it in this and I'm just using my thin washi tape to frame the photo for some interest now I really liked the three sayings on this original card that I was going to use so basically what I'm doing is just trimming them out because I want to use them still and I'm going to just attach it to the corner of this card. So I'm going to make my own card. And I kind of like it better because 
that piece now looks really dimensional and layered. So I'm really happy with how that came down out. So I'm going to uh, glue that down, just adjusting it to make sure it fits. Now the bottom left hand corner of it came out a little funky, but I add some enamel dots to the bottom left hand corner of it to camouflage the mess up. Camel, uh, enamel dots are awesome for covering up mistakes, guys. <laughs> Go to mistake cover. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to add a couple, a pink and a yellow, which complement the rest of the cards on the spread. And really happy the overall look of that card. Okay, so we're going to call that done. And actually, I'm going to use my corner chomper from We Are Memory Keepers to round those corners since I added that card. And I'm really happy with the final results. So we're going to move on to the next card. Now with this card, I have a four picture collage that I do not want to break up. These are just random shots that I took throughout the day. One is the big, uh, big New York City bus. One is a hot dog stand, which is awesome. One is a group of taxi cabs. And another is the street vendors. Those are like key uh, symbols or icons that I relate back to New York City. So I wanted to put those in and I added that Chevron rainbow card in the background. And then I find this tag from the ephemera kit on the right hand side of the photo there that I really like. And also this vellum piece with the pink. I like that as well. Just trying to frame around the picture to give it interest. I'm going to use my tape runner here. And even though it's vellum, I put the glue on the bottom part of it where the picture is going to overlay on it. So you won't see the tape through the vellum. You're only going to see a very small piece of the pink peeking up from behind the photos. I'm going to lay down that card next. I think that card is so pretty, and it, I believe that's one of uh, the ones that Judy sent me. Okay, and I found this Supreme Quality ticket that I really like. The ephemera pack for this month worked so well with my New York City spread, I can't even, you know, explain it. <laughs> and I really liked how that looked. And then I want to put something across the bottom. So I have this Chamel uh, stickers that came in the kit for September as well. And I picked out this one that says, go somewhere lovely. And we did for the day. So it was so perfect. And I really like how that card came out. Now, when I do a collage of four pictures like this, I always have to put something in the center. You guys know this, you see my past spreads, even if it's something simple. And I love this star. I'm going to use my matte medium to actually glue it down because I don't have any Tombow multi adhesive, which is my go-to glue, but I'm out of it. So I kind of have to just make do with what I have. And I love how it came out. Very simple again, not too much added to it because the other cards are so busy. So now we're going to move on to the last card. And this is Pronto Pizza. We went there for lunch. It is my favorite pizza place. And it is so nice to go and have real pizza. I'm from the Midwest. And I'm sure it those of you that were born and raised here, I think the pizza here is fabulous, but mm -mm. <laughs> I've even went to Chicago and the pizza doesn't taste like it does in New York. Everybody's got different pizza. I was born and raised on New York pizza. I need the good stuff. <laughs> so I end up uh, using this card here. And as you see, I'm putting down these pictures. Guys, I end up ripping this up. I hate this card. It was just so bad. I was saying really choice words while I was doing this one. <laughs> I look at it and I say, oh God, this is just so horrible. Let's see if I can fix it. So I take out this little ephemera piece here and it says the best day. And I really do like that tag. And then I pull out some of my uh, brads, decorative brads that I have, really old ones. And I pick one that I like and I take out my stamping up uh, paper piece, uh, paper piercer. And I'm just going to pierce a hole, get that brad in there. It kind of helped the card a little bit, but not by much. Can you say ugly? <laughs> so I take out this little chic tags, tag that says place, and I'm going to write in Pronto Pizza because I wanted to make sure that I documented where we were at. Came out a little too thin for me, so I do write over it, which I don't mind doing. You can see me in the corner there with my goofy teal glasses. <laughs> One thing I can't do is I can't scrapbook with my contacts. I can't see right. 
<laughs> I always have to have my glasses on. And then I add this wood veneer and a ephemera piece and I'm looking at it and I say, nope, it's got to go. So I peel it all up. And I don't think I've ever done a complete peel up like this before, but it had to be done. So I pick this card here that has a lot of the colors that the rest of her layout has in it. I needed to cover up that damaged bottom of the card because I didn't want to start over completely. So I'm going to camouflage it real quickly. And this is another great thing about Project Life, guys. You can fix pretty much anything. I mean, you really, really can. And that's what's so awesome about it. So I covered up my mistake. And then I found this strip of subway I, I guess it's like a, a subway map and I thought that was so super cute I wanted to include that because it's very much city like and again that was in the kit for September perfect perfect stickers that I got this month and I'm just going to trim up these pictures and I'm going to try and do a better job of putting them down because I think that's why I didn't like the original card I think it was just the pictures just seemed like they were on top of each other so here is these two. Oh, this, that pizza was so good. <laughs> I dream about that pizza. Every time I go to New York, I just want pizza. Okay, so I trimmed down the pictures this time a little bit more so there would be space between them and they didn't seem so crowded. So I'm going to place both of those down. Really struggled on this card, guys. And then I want to add something in the bottom left of that picture because there's a perfect spot for it. And I love these Simple Stories overlays. These are a must-have for Project Life, guys. You can dress up any photo with these. And I pick up this one that says Fabulous because it fits perfect. So I was really happy about that. And I think it gives the pictures a really nice finish and it kind of breaks them up a little bit. And then I want to put something in the center also to break up the two pictures. So I end up actually using this heart cork piece because I really, really like it. And I just figure it gives you a visual break between the two pictures. And that's it. That card is done, guys. That is the whole spread. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing it, even though I cursed a couple of times. <laughs> Here are the final cards, and if you like this, please thumbs up, and that will let me know if you want me to continue doing process videos. I really do appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!